Immunoaffinity column for aflatoxin B1, B2, G1, and G2. Sample extraction. Weigh 5 gram sample into the 50 milliliter centrifuge tube. Add 1 gram normal saline. Add 25 ml acetonitrile aqueous solution, vortex to mix. Shake in an ultrasonic or vortex shaker for 20 minutes. Centrifuge for 10 minutes at 6000 revolutions per minute to obtain the supernatant for preparation of sample solution. Sample solution preparation. Accurately pipette 5 ml supernatant. Add 35 ml 1% tween 20 in PBS and mix well. Centrifuge at over 6,000 revolutions per minute for 10 minutes to obtain all supernatant as sample solution. Sample solution purification. Return the immunoaffinity column to room temperature before use. Connect the syringe barrel or loading tube to the immunoaffinity column and completely dripped out the original liquid in the column. Add 10 ml PBS to the syringe barrel or loading tube to rinse the immunoaffinity column and completely dripped out the liquid in the column. Accurately pipette the sample solution into the syringe barrel or loading tube. Let the sample solution drip at a rate of 1 to 2 drops per second under gravity pressure.
After the sample solution drop is finished, add 20 ml water to the syringe barrel or loading tube to rinse the amino affinity column. Use a vacuum pump to drain the amino affinity column after the drop is finished. Remove the syringe barrel or loading tube, place a 4 ml centrifuge tube under the amino affinity column. Add 2 ml methanol to elute the amino affinity column. Use a vacuum pump to drain the amino affinity column after the drop is finished. Collect all the eluates and mix well. After the eluent is blown to near dryness with nitrogen, reconstitute with 1 ml initial mobile phase of HPLC or LSMC. Filter with 0.22 micrometer microporous filter and transfer to sample bottle for testing. Result interpretation Place the sample bottles into the LC mass or HPLC. Start to run the interpretation. Your food safety concern, our dedication.